All right, back we go. It is August 8th, Sunday. Going over a lot of stocks, looking for support resistance levels, see where these might go. As we go on into the week, next week, SKLZ Skills Incorporated. Four point nine billion market cap on this. Institutions own fifty three percent. What do they do exactly? Operates a mobile game platform connects players worldwide. Found at twenty twelve San Francisco. So you know this was a bit of a tear too. As you look back, it looks like it IPO'd in May last year. You know ten grinded up twelve. Back and forth moves. This really took off 12 all the way to 46. Look at this. 46, then we bounced. You know, drop, bounce, drop, bounce, all the way down to this low here, uh, 1245, 1240. Unbelievable. So 46 to there. Give the retracement levels. Now, it did come out of the wedge, like I told you about the wedge. Bounced all the way up near 22. Bounced to 14. 24, another bounce, 22, then we went back down. So you had a big move here, you know, short-lived, about four days, came back. This was a little longer in May, nice move. This was a little bit longer too, about a week. So you're, you're back and forth here, chopping, getting some good moves. And then right here, you know, right here on this wedge, if you draw this line right here, see this? Now this is where the wedge didn't work. You came down this falling wedge, it broke out right here, this three little bar, green candles, but it didn't work, it didn't keep going, it went down. And that's a rare case that they don't work and they fall back down. You know, this is at the 12 level and it looks like a double bottom, will it hold very oversold. Um, the weekly, the weekly is showing still red over white, so it's still it's trying to bend a little bit now. You know, is it gonna go further, deeper down? It's possible. The monthly, you know, nothing formed yet because it's a new newer IPO on the monthly. So basically you have here, you know, this 12 has got a hold from back in April. You know, if not, you know, you're looking at 11, 12, 11. Got right here at 10 probably. You know, the original IPO price. So it's possible in this. I don't like this to bounce right away unless there's news next week. You know, of course, news bounces stocks, but you know, it's not looking good right now unless this holds there. It's big factor. If it does hold at this 12 level, you know, watch it go to 14. Then maybe we'll bounce up again. It looks like a channel now, pretty much, or a head. I'd say this is a head and shoulders. Um, you know, if we do bounce immediate 12, 14, we could get back up to 20 eventually, but it might be longer term at this point. It could be a month or more. So we'll see how this one plays out. So the key level right there is important at the 12 level. Let's look at Wish. They have 6.1, uh, 6.18 billion market cap, 93% institutional ownership. All right, Context Logic incorporate, operates a mobile e commerce company in Europe, North America, South America, internationally. Operates Wish platform, founded in 2010, San Francisco. All right, so this is another one here. You know, this formed back in December 2020. Came back to 18, this one, all the way to 32. Another big move. Then look at this wash down, small bounce, wash down, small bounce. You know, we have some lines formed now, <clears throat> a little wider wedge. Came out right here on this day, which was June 8th. And look at this candle. And then this came way back hard. You know, really, some of these uh, stocks were put in, um, like, tricky patterns, tricky plays. You know, it was really odd. They didn't hold. They weren't chopping around, though. It did hold, you know, nine level. What's this? Nine, 10 level, 10 level. Went up to 14 plus, and then we came down again. This is another falling wedge. Now, this one's more going sideways. We're bouncing back and forth, crossed over negative. The weekly, you know, the weekly, you have a big white over 
pink, which is 20, 13 MA, big space here. It's probably going to test us in between this 9, 10, and 12 to 14 level. Watch for that. You have a crossover here. So nice divergence here. Here it got higher. See the lows getting higher. That's something to look at. The monthly chart, you know, nothing to go on it's too soon. So when you see this here, so we have a bottom here, 758 up to like 15, the back and forth, sort of in the middle. We go in lower, we go back higher. You know, to be determined. Immediately I look for this nine and these little candlesticks here, there's uh, the lows 883. And if we do move up, watch for 10, 12, right to that 14 plus level again. So I'll caught in between on this one, I wish. F cell. A lot of these EVs, a lot of these EV stocks, um, you know, car company stocks with a fuel cell, electric vehicle space, you know, that was going crazy. Two billion market cap, 37% institutional ownership, hydrogen fuel cell stock, well power ballot power rise, mixed earnings. So let's look at this one. You know, I was talking about this in 2020. Look at the back and forth channel. It was like one to two, you know, like three level. This broke up back in November. Um, yeah, you know, all the stocks were on fire. What was it November, December, January, into February? Sh uh, shipping stocks, everything was going nuts. So over three here, let's put in the 10 move. Got down, came right back to eight. Look at these dip buys right here, right here, 10, 18, 20, all the way to a high on this, which is incredible, 29.44. Yeah. People bought up here. A lot of times it can be short, like someone's um, shorting, but there's a lot of buys in here. So incredible, incredible. And you bought a 28 at six. So let's look at the move here. Uh, probably change this, make it a little bit tighter. See right about, right about here on this wedge. And on this one, I'm trying to form a line right here all the way down. So, you know, this had a, not a huge tightly wedge, but it was a wedge down and this fell 28, 16, 12, went back to six. And then we bounced up eight all the way to 12. Now this was a nice move out. Anytime you can get, you know, a few dollars for, this is a $4 move. And then there's a little gap again. I thought this was gonna fill the gap right away. You know, find support, didn't do it, just kept going. And this went all the way to six now. So what I like here is see this bubbling. I call it bubbling, like a brewing, like volcano, back and forth, back and forth. Right at this 20 level, keeps chopping. Eventually it's gonna break up. So I like to see that on the weekly on this. You know, you have a move down right here. This was a hammer candle, broke out, didn't hold. So you know why it doesn't hold to? The 13's over to 20. You cannot go through if the 13's over to 20. This says reverse, pinks over white. This was all bullish. All these candles were fake outs. They'll eventually get so high, see the space, and then we dropped. So we have to reverse this. We went pink over white, eventually that'll be support. So right here, you're back and forth. Here's your six level. We're trying to cross over. It's trying to go sideways now. So six is big on that, the monthly. Monthly get tighter. See this little squeeze here? trying to like slide sideways, it might go underneath. So, you know, and this right now supports at six level. If we can hold six, yeah, I'm looking for seven, eight plus all the way, let's see here, probably maybe to 10, 12, you know, not right away, but we'll see what happens and that's possible. And that, see this here? Well, it's a little below there. So it's like a double bottom. You go all the way back. So this is interesting here on the four hour. See, we're trying to come out sideways. I like that two hour, one hour, we're going back and forth. So yeah, you gotta remember these stocks too. This was up at 20, what did I say? 29 and it went to six. Yeah, it's way below 50%, 38% retracement. This is like a 75% move down. So your chances of going back up somewhat are better. 
it's not going to just keep falling. So I like this and watch your support at six. All right, what else we got here? ZY. This looks like a new IPO. 1.24 billion market cap. Zemergen. Uh, no one really owns this as far as insiders. Designs in here optimizes microbes for industrial applications in the United States, uh, Asia, Europe, pharmaceutical, agriculture, etc. What was the news that dropped this? Um, when was that? In July? Where's the news? <laughs> I'm trying to find it here. It's hard to see the news here. Looking on Finviz. All right. Well, anyway, you know, trying to make some lines of this now. These are not the best connection points, but we'll see. You can see right here. All right. So you can see. You know, went up here to 50 IPO, dropped hard, flow 30, bounced to 45. Yeah, the high was getting lower. Here, here, here. Eventually dropped like a rock. This thing was 35. It dropped down to below 10. Weird cross, and then it bounced back up. Yeah, this is a very um, difficult stock. So be very careful with it if you're trading it. Yeah, there is a big space here, a gap above. Uh, let's see the monthly. You know, just a big red candle weekly. It's a huge red candle. You know, not much to go on. It's pretty new. But when you do have the space above, there's a better chance that this will eventually break up. So it looks like this 15 level, it touched twice, but got knocked down. And your support is 10, and then probably this little cross here, 788. So, you know, if you want to look further in the company on this, um, yeah, you know, to the long side, maybe if there, you think it's going to be positive, we can get back in here. Yeah, there's a shot at that. I'm not sure when on this one. This one seems a little bit tougher. So, what else they do? Platforms use discover novel molecules using enable unique material properties. So, we'll see on this one. Just keep that. Sometimes keep it on the back burner. Just, you know, look at it, see the moves. So, when you have a big gap above that, that's very enticing. Because you know, once you get in here, there's nothing here to, you know, stop it at that point. All right, that's it. Please subscribe to Mike Kim and Trades on YouTube. Hit the like button. Um, anything else? Leave comments. What else? Stock twits, Mike Kim and Trades. Uh, Instagram, Mike Frank 98. Twitter, Mike Jane Trades. TikTok, Mike Frank I, I, I. And that is it. We will do some more videos on these stocks, day trading, swing trading, scalping, even holding a month, like position trading, whatever you do to make money. You know, in the stock market, it's all good. That's what we're all about. Peace.